Hi everyone, so welcome back to Prefusion. So today I'm back with uh, this complete solution of network theory from the electronics and telecommunication branch. So uh, the previous like control systems and engineering mathematics, I've already done the memory based question solutions. So uh, I thought like I will do those later, like the, with proper all, all the solutions of all the questions as we have got all the questions, right? So, but first I will do the network theory solutions. Uh, try to complete all the three branches uh, for ele uh, electrical ion and ec then i will uh, solve those because those have been already solved you can see those uh, but few questions were missed from there because those are memory based questions and like few options were also missed so yeah i will solve those uh, after these are finished yeah also i want to mention one thing that uh, like if you just want to know the uh, solutions like not the solutions if you just want to know the answers and just uh, like cross check your answers just you skip through the part and go towards the end and at the end i have found the answer so you just see the answers and you can skip through the part right so here i will solve also so it may take a bit of time one two minutes time to solve and then explain a few things so you can just skip through that part and just see the what is the answer to that question particularly if you are interested in that only okay so let's start uh, with this so this is basically for gate 2024 network theory solutions so this was the first question this is from the ec branch so uh, first thing is from networks around four questions came i think the weightage would be around eight marks okay we don't have the marks of this specific question so we don't know the marks how much marks each question uh, consists of but uh, guessing is four questions it may be of eight uh, eight or six to eight marks okay so yeah we, generally four to five questions come from network theory okay so now this is the first question very simple it is on the simple uh, kcl kvl and on dependent sources so what you do is you assume some current over here so here now uh, one important point note here is this is thousand i naught and this is in volts so i'll assume my i naught as milliamps so if i assume my i naught in milliamps then thousand i naught will become only i naught okay i naught volts so i hope you get that point so this will become only i naught volts i naught okay and here some current ix is flowing then here 2 milliamp is flowing Hen hence here uh, what amount of current will flow here 2 plus ix will flow okay and this ix is also in milliamperes now 2 plus ix is flowing from here and i naught is flowing from here so from here obviously uh, i naught plus 2 plus ix will flow which is equals to 5 so 5 is equals to i naught plus 2 plus ix so my i naught plus i x is equals to three. Okay. So my i naught plus i x equals to three. That is uh, one equation. We need another equation. What will be the other equation? Other equation will be this K wheel because uh, here there is a current source. I can't use K wheel here. Uh, like there is a current source. I can't use K wheel. But through here there is no current source. That's why I am able to use the K wheel. So whenever there is a current source, we avoid K wheel through that path. We try to use K C L. Okay. So this if i use the cable around this path what will happen this will be minus i naught into one i naught is in milliampere so this is totally false minus again i naught because again i told you right this becomes thousand i naught becomes i naught because this is in milliamperes and then plus i x okay equals to zero so my uh, i i naught equals to ix by 2 okay now we put this in this equation i will get your answer as uh, 1 uh, 2 milliamperes i think so if i just uh, put this in this equation i naught plus ix so i naught by 2 sorry not i naught by 2 sorry ix by 2 plus ix equals to 2 sorry no equals to 3 so 1.5 ix equals to 3 so ix equals to 2 okay 2 milliamps so yeah this is the case now yeah this is the answer for this question so this question has answer 2 milliamps as they have told to answer in milliamps itself so the answer to this question will be only 2 answer would be 2 only okay so this is the solution of this question now let's go to the next question so this question is uh, again like very simple only you just have to find that time constant of the circuit okay when the switch is closed now like uh, this is easy how to find the time constant you find the r equivalent from this inductor and then you multi divide by l by r l by r will be the time constant l equivalent by uh, r equivalent so obviously few students what they might have done like they would have to find the time constant from here okay because switch is here but that's a misconception you have to find the time constant from this inductor 
सो बेसिकली वॉट यू हाउ डू यू फाइंड यू फाइंड द इक्वल एंड रजिस्टेंस सो बेसिकली यू मेक द इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेज इफेक्ट ऑफ द इंडिपेंडेंट सोर्सेज जीरो एंड देन फाइंड द आर इक्वेरेंट एंड एल इक्वेरेंट सो यू क्लोज द स्विच ऑब्वियसली ओके यू क्लोज द स्विच दिस इज फोर ओम्स दिस फोर ओम्स दिस टू ओम्स एंड दिस इज योर आर इक्वेरेंट ओके सो आर इक्वेरेंट आर इक्वेरेंट इक्वल्स टू सिंपली this is these two are in parallel so this is 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 so 4 is your r equivalent and l is l is only one. there is one uh, inductor 3 henry so your time constant will be l by r equivalent which is 0.75 second so 0.75 will be the answer okay so for this question the answer will be 0.75 now let's go to the next question again this is a very simple question only on maximum power transfer theorem so here the network is shown you have to find the the maximum power is to be transferred to the load rl rl like maximum power you have to transfer to the load rl then the value of rl what is the value of rl so like simply use the maximum power transfer here only resistive networks are present so rl will be equals to my rth for maximum power transfer so you have to find the rth basically so again you draw the circuit you make the independent sources zero dependent sources will be still present because obviously you can't make the effect of them zero this is 2 ohms this is 3 ohms this is zero and you have to find the rts from here so what i will do is i will just place a voltage source and measure the current through that voltage source and the ratio of the voltage by current will be my rth this is vx this is 2 ohms and my vx Vx uh, is equals to this. So now how to solve this? So basically, V by I will be equals to Rth will be equals to Rl. So uh, what you do is you you can write this equation that the this voltage V is directly across this two and three ohms. So I can use the voltage division rule. So my Vx will be simply equals to the voltage division, which will be the division of the resistors three by five. ओके थ्री बाई फाइव सो इट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वी ओके सो वी एक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वी वन रिलेशन वी फाउंड आउट ना वट इज अनदर अनदर रिलेशन वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन सिंपली यूज दिस के विल ओवर हेयर ओके बट फॉर दिस के विल यू नीड टू फाइंड द करंट ओवर सो वट इज द करंट सो थ्रू हेयर द वोल्टेज इज वी एक्स ऑफ दिस थ्री ओम्स सो द करंट थ्रू दिस विल बी वी एक्स बाई थ्री सो इफ द करंट इज वी एक्स बाई थ्री then what is the current through here i current is flowing here so the current through here will be i minus vx by 3 i minus i will write here okay so i minus vx by 3 now uh, what next will happen so i can simply use a kvl simply use a kvl okay so here the kvl will be minus v Plus two i minus v x by three plus v x equals to zero. So uh, what will next be? So this will be simply. So I can replace my v x with uh, this. relation so this will become v minus v plus 2 i minus vx by 3 so vx by 3 is 0.2 times 2 so this will be minus 0.4 v plus 0.6 v equal to 0 so uh, this will become minus 0.8 v and this is still 2 i so 0.8 v equals to 2 i so v by i Equals to uh, what? Equals to if we multiply this five by five, this will be ten by four, which is two point five ohms. Okay. So the an answer to to this question will be two point five. Two point five will be the answer. Okay. Just let me write the answers over here. So previously the answer here it was point seven five, 
and here the answer was 2 okay so nat came so yeah in network what they try to do is like instead of giving you options they will give you nat and you have to like write that without the help of options okay so that is one thing that uh, they do okay next is this uh, question again like all of them are very simple question not not at all difficult so you have to find the two port network uh, like for the two port network given below you have to find the y21 parameter so to find the y21 parameter what you can do is simply what is y21 if you if you tend to forget this y21 right you just write y21 now y y means admittance admittance means current by voltage so we write this current and voltage first then obviously th this two will come here and i will come here okay sorry one will come here one now what can i make zero so the uh, bottom term always goes to zero so here obviously i can't make v1 zero because v1 is already already present over here so i have to make v2 zero so this is how you can remember obviously this is simple to remember but few of the difficult h parameters and other parameters abc parameters are difficult to remember that's how you can remember so uh, now you write v2 equals to zero now obviously v2 equals to zero that means That means that uh, this will be eight V one, okay, and this will be short, okay. V two is zero, then hence this will be short, but this will still be I two, this will be I one, this will be four, four ohms. This will be two ohms, okay, and this is V one. This is V1. So yeah, now you can easily solve it. So you have to find I2 by V1. So we have to use two equations. First one is this one. So I2, I1, and this is getting added. Okay. So I can use this K wheel. So in this branch, I have current I2, I1 plus I2. Okay. So if I use K wheel here, what will happen? minus v1 everything is recording right yeah i just get scared sometimes if the recording stops suddenly all of a sudden so yeah uh this will be minus v1 plus 2 i1 plus 4 i1 plus i2 i1 plus i2 okay now uh yeah minus 8 v1 equals to 0 okay, what is happening equals to 0 so this will become uh like 9 v1 equals to 6 i1 plus 4 i2 next what will happen next uh, we can use the key will in this direction so this direction minus minus 8 v1 then again obviously this whole voltage across this only minus 8 v1 uh, and we are going along this direction plus 4 i1 plus i2 equals to 0 okay so what do i have to find i have to find i2 by v1 so obviously i will replace i1 so if I divide by 4, 2v1 equals to uh, i1 plus i2 or i1 equals to 2v1 minus i2. Okay, now simply replace this in this equation i1 uh, here. So this will become 9v1 equals to 6i1. So 6 times 2v1 minus i2, 2v1 minus i2 plus 4i2 plus 4i2. So this will become uh, 12 uh, and this will become here 3v1 uh, minus 6i2 so this becomes 2i2 over there so i2 over v1 when my v2 is 0 is my y21 equals to 1.5 basically 1.5 Siemens okay. So the answer to this question will be 1.5 Siemens. Okay, uh, or like simply 1.5 only. So, uh, so yeah, this is these are the solutions for the EC uh, like branch from network theory. So next I will solve the double E and the IN also. Okay, so thank you for watching.